In a sun-soaked Parnell Park last Saturday evening, Lucan Sarsfields and Ballantyre St. John's met in the final Group 2 game, with Lucan needing a win if they hope to secure a quarter-final meeting with O'Toole's. And they got off to a flyer with early scores from wing forward Paul Crummy, and a fine individual effort from Ali and Kelly, settling early nerves as they raced into an early two-point lead. Ballantyre opened their account shortly afterwards when a long diagonal ball from Dave Harney found aid on Claddy, who struck from a tight angle to get Ballantyre off and running. In full forward Kevin O'Reilly, Lucan had one of the star performers of the day, who tagged on the first of his 10 points after a great run from Kevin Fitzgerald to put Lucan five points to three to the good. Two frees brought Ballantyre back on level terms, with the second from Fionn Clabby coming from all of 70 yards, although this reliance on the place ball meant Ballantyre were always chasing Lucan throughout the game. A sideline cut from O'Reilly gave Lucan a slender advantage and provided a hint of what was to come shortly before half-time. Ballantyre did respond through wing-back Glenn Whelan, but O'Reilly's sideline cut from the 45-metre line, the third of four unanswered points, ensured that it was Lucan that led at half-time and a scoreline of 10 points to 6. From the restart, Lucan took on from where they'd left off. A long-range puck from Kevin Roach was plucked out of the air by Johnny McCaffrey, who wasted no time in splitting the Ballantyre post. Struggling from play, Ballantyre were reliant on place balls, but Lucan had that little bit more around the middle of the field, with Kevin Fitzgerald demonstrating this scoring threat. In fact, Lucan should have had the game sealed and rattled the Ballantyre net when a long clearance from Mick May somehow found its way to Alan Kelly, who, under pressure from Franco O'Donoghue, scuffed his lines with the goal at his mercy. The resulting free was knocked over by that man O'Reilly, and Lucan were happy enough to keep the scoreboard ticking out. To their credit, Ballantyre kept working, and a point from substitute Kieran Lane had them just about holding on to Lucan's coattails. But every time Ballantyre narrowed the gap, Lucan were able to pick out a score of their own, with Sean McClellan the man coming through this time. Trailing by seven, Ballantyre needed a goal, and it almost came through sub Fergal Duffy, whose well-hit shot flew the wrong side of Kevin Roach's post, much to the dismay of the Ballantyre man. Having survived that scare, Lucan kicked for home, and lay points from that man O'Reilly, and sub Peter Carroll ensured that it was Lucan who read out comfortable winners on a scoreline of 22 points to Ballantyre's 14. Yeah, we've got tools now, uh, 10 days time. Uh, tools bet us very well last year in the, in the, in the quarterfinals of the championship, so we've a massive task ahead of us. Uh, but it's great to be at that stage now, uh, 10 days to look forward to it, and we can't wait.